And private sector businesses were called upon to be reasonable with their requests. The Prime Minister explained that the influx of requests for tax waivers following Tropical Storm Erica has been overwhelming and, if honoured, could bring the economy to its knees. And therefore, that I wish to appeal to private sector leaders in particular to be realistic with the demands on government over the course of the next few weeks, months, and even years. I am already in receipt of some mind-boggling requests for tax waivers and concessions that were they to be granted would effectively bankrupt and shut down this economy of Dominica. The government, my dear people, cannot make blood out of stone. According to the Prime Minister, granting all these tax waivers will cause the already dwindling economy to become bankrupt, considering that government revenues have fallen, leaving room for increased expenditure. Government has started receiving claims from teams of people and contractors who provided services in the days immediately following the passage of the storm. So far, claims amounting to about $1.8 million have been received, but the figure is expected to rise to as much as $12 million. Prior to Tropical Storm Erica, Dominica's value-added tax was just above $10 million, but just two days until the end of September, the Prime Minister says the country has generated, based on reports, just a little over $4 million in taxes.